What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents alike? This your boy, Lightly's like, Baby Prince, coming at y'all once again. Uh, I was going to do this last night, but I was attending to some some things, some business, whatever. And um, particularly, I felt like I think that history lessons need to be taught, and they need to be taught in context, right? Yesterday was Valentine's Day, right? That's what we call it. A lot of people don't know the history on Valentine's Day. Now, if you're watching this around children, you already know what's going on, okay? It's about week. Anywho, not the way, it is what it is. Now, what we have commonly been taught in this Western Hemisphere of the world, worldwide, was that this is a day where you're supposed to show your loved ones affection, buy all types of gifts, and treats, and trips, and chocolate strawberries, and edible panties, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. The reason why I don't partake in it, first off, they ain't ready. It's, your love shouldn't be relegated to one day in particular. And just because everybody's doing it doesn't make it cool. But neither here nor there to each his own. However, it was based upon an ancient custom in Rome where it was called the Lupercalia, which is the real history of what we call Valentine's Day. Now, what was the Lupercalia? On this particular day, Roman adults, men and women, would have large gatherings with little boys and little girls. All right? They would take all the names of all these prepubescent children and they would put it in, you know, a basket. So what the adults would do as they would draw a name, and whatever name they chose, that's what they roll with. You know, it's going to be a little graphic, but this is the real history of it. They used to join and have these big group orgies with, with, with children. <laughs> this, is, this is the truth. And it went on for many, many years. However, there was one high priest who particularly said, Nah, fuck this. This ain't right. Like, because it was a time where it was actually legally allowable for the Roman government to let these people marry these children, like grown folks. However, this one man came forward. I said, man, cut this shit out. Oh, that outraged them. They said, oh, you tripping. Like, hold on, man. So they said, you know what? We got something for you. So, they imprisoned him and sentenced him to death. You know, so look, man, you can't, you can't talk about our custom now. This is how we rock. You know, one voice can't beat the mob. So, long story short, they sentenced him to death, right? So, on the day that he was actually sentenced to death, they particularly, he wrote a letter to the masses, like the masses of children. But when he signed it, when he signed the letter, it said particularly his signature said from your Valentine. Oh yeah. And this happened on February 14th. In less than five minutes. See, when you adopt customs and don't know history on it, you partake in the same thing. I just don't realize it, but to each his own, you know. Everybody's educated. Not everybody's educated on it, but now you, now you are, <laughs> you know. And it's a ceremony or a ritual, I should say, where the ancient Romans revered their god Eros, which is where you get all erotic, which we get the word erotic from, right? But that's what they were doing. They was getting erotic, you know. And that was their custom. But 
because you're not taught this in the public pool system, you just partake in it. So that's why it's called Saint Valentine's Day, because they canonized them, you know what I'm saying, according to the Roman Catholic idea. And that's why people say, Will you be my Valentine? Don't even realize why they're saying it. Now you know. <laughs> now you know. So, don't adopt the ways of the pagan. If you're spiritual anyway. But if you're earthly, spin your bread. <laughs> so you have to understand also why everything is red on Valentine's Day. You go in the store, you see balloons, red roses, everything's red. And I think I said this before, but if I didn't, let me allow me to reintroduce it. When you look at the chart of chakras, right? The lowest chakra, which is, you know, your groin area, is red. The heart chakra is green. Hmm. See how they hide things in plain sight? People who know about chakras know exactly what I'm talking about. So that's why on that particular day, everybody got a bump and grind. Because it's making you tap into that low vibrational arena. See, it's also a day where people show fake love, basically, to convince themselves to try to get some draws. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, you know, hold on. Long story short, people have to realize that, I'm sorry if the camera skipped, somebody just called me, and I just can't take the car right now, I'm just not recording, so I can wait. But anyway, for the most part, this is what really took place at that era and that time, and it's still a custom to carry on to this day. Most holy days have very, 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 very significant history behind them, but To the masses, to the vulgar masses, you get to the simple explanation. Well, this is just a day where everybody gets shows up. Well, if you have children, you do that 365 days a year. <laughs> you're not, oh, you're not in the wise of the ways of the pagan. <laughs> But again, teach his own. But now, you know. And you just learned that in less than eight minutes. So, people can't follow the customs in the ways of the baby. You got a certain type of, you know. Not to mention, more people are apt to become depressed after that particular day. Because what you've done, you operate from low vibration. So, I don't know why when I record, everybody want to notify me and all that. Come on now. I'm not doing nothing. Nobody bothers me. That gets on my nerves. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, that's a very significant truth. Very significant truth. That's very true. So now you know. Teach your kids. It's, it's, it's out there. It's just for you to be able to apply it to yourself. So... You don't get caught up in misunderstanding. Education is the key. So, peace, lamp, love.